and we are going to see the issue ticket taken uh, on P5 that is similar. Uh, you will get a simulation that tickets uh, 16 questions. Uh, what that is the exact issue and what is the uh, remedy for that? You got to find the which location that is router and what is the technology uh, related to what was. Then what is the period you action to uh, correct that issue? That is 16 uh, tickets are that. Out of that, you will get a 30 tickets in each one. Rest of that, two you will get a multiple choice questions and that is a it's like uh, they will put the one question and they will ask the answer what what it is exactly it depends and you will get a similar is uh, for example this is a voice question it's the same thing you are going to get in each that is uh, 300 on different the scenario the explanation everything will be provided there will be two tabs here that is topology then explanation then question one question two question two three question four and question five First, you have to read that topology how it is connected. They will, they will specify R1 and R1 and R2 is located in area 0. The serial 0 is slash 0 and 0 1 serial 1 slash 1 configured under the area 0 and R3 and R2 was configured as area 1. Then R4, R3, R3 6 are and R4 and R3 are in area 2 and R5, R4 and R6 are area 3. Okay. That A, B, R, total and choice of area actually everything they will provide. So now the question will come here. Okay. See, first question. The YSBF neighbor relation has to cost between R1 and R2. What is the causing of the problem? There is issue between R1 and R3. The YSBF neighborship is not forming. You will have to find out what is the exact issue. First you will go to R3 and R1 just to give this OSPF member command and just to check whether the authentication is correct if unfair the interfaces are to be able to reach the uh, R1 to R3 interface IP everything you have to check please then you have to find out answer they are given few things serial interface R1 should not be taken out the shutoff state okay they are asking you should be taken out the shutoff state maybe if, if it is shut, shut then you have to take out shut just to check it so I can increase it. If R1 that serial 0 slash 0 is shut state, then that is the answer. But it would if it is showing up then this is the answer. Okay. Then the neighbor statement need to be counted in R1 and R2 pointing each other. You have to specify the neighbor of R3 and in R3 router you have to specify the R1 neighbor to establish the neighbor. Okay. Because we are forming the manual neighborship, so you do have to specify the neighbor. It's not a multicast packet, so you have to specify it. Then R1 network type should be changed to point to multipoint non broadcast. It's not necessary because it's uh, directly point to point. So if you if you are using the broadcast network in the multi DRL, media election, multicast segment, then only you, you need to specify the point to multipoint will come into the sub interface. So there is no subject device, so this is not the right answer. And you can check swipe into this command and check this. If it is shut, then it is a uh, you have to select this. If it is not shut, it, it, it won't be shut. Okay, that is it. Actually, this is not the right answer. Alone dead time or R1 need to be reconfigured to match up. It's not necessary. Okay. The answer over here you will get it in the exam. This is the answer. The neighbor statement need to be configured in R1 or R2 pointing each other. Okay. So make so that but before that you will you will just ensure that the same answer by giving the comments. Then then the second question will be connectivity from R3 to R4, R5 and R6 has been lost. That means R3 to R4, R5 and R6 has it's it's entirely isolated. What would be the issue? Just check what are the answer you can go here. Configure R4 and with the virtual link of 162, 168, 13, It's not okay because here R4 itself lost. Okay, you just try to reach this IP and if you are so give the show IP root on R3 and you can check all the routes are learned. R4, R3, and R6 are routes are learned. If it is not learned, directly try to ping that IP and check the areas are properly advertised. So, answer over here 
will be see this and all not together allow introduction to no need to match add on OSPF network that is in our team you no need to specify all four network into all you no need to advertise it you have to advertise the connected network in that order so add on OSPF network statement once it state that 3.4 that is a 3.4.0 is connecting between R3 and R3 See this is this is I we have to connect it here. For 9168, that is for 30. It's connected between R3 and R4. My the thing is in R3 they didn't advertise the disconnected network. So the rules won't learn via R4 to R3. So the company if R4 root is not learned to R3, you won't get the R3 and R6. Okay. So this Sorry, this will be the answer because all three of that place, okay? Because it's the area one, right? You can see this is area one. The confusion they given area to here, so make sure that it's both look similar. And also, you got to specify the network statement, okay? This is not a network address, hmm? this, this is the network address, and this is the correct. After resolving that, it's still you are facing this issue. See, can't get R4 to R3 and we can leave the next is common second. This is not a right. Can't get area with both R3 and we use MD pair the region. Go and check whether they are using MD pair the region or the test. Normal authentication key. See, the C and D will look similar. It's both commands will work. IP was in OSP authentication key, the encryption key. Seven they provided the point with the key as a list. Keyword as a list. Here is also same thing, but keyword as a Cisco, but they are giving used encryption key. Here, R4 Ethernet interface that connects to R5 and OFR. That is, they are enabling the OSP authentication key between R4 and R5. See, R4 and R5. Here also R4 and R5. Okay. But what is the issue means? The right answer is this. Why? Because R5 already it was done with the keyword of Cisco. So the same keyword need to be configured on R4 and you have to enable the authentication on the yes. So this is the right answer. So make sure to make note of that this these things you will going to be in the plan. Then this one. See 6 start 6 start zero. This is R6 local address, right? Not reachable from R4. So the 6.6 is not reachable from the output, even it's directly connected. Uh, sorry, directly connected router, loopback interface not reachable. What would be this? You just check the output for IP. The 6.6 .6 will not run. Go and check in R6 whether it is connected with this address or not. Yeah, it's advertised. But still, it's not reachable. If you are advertised, still, it's not reachable. Then check the show OIP, IP, OSP, neighborship, is neighborship is established, still it's not reachable. If neighborship is established, still it's not reachable, means that will be root map or access list or distribute list. Okay. Both the next same function. So just to go and check the access list 46 or 6. What is the access list 46 denotes? Actually, access list 46 denotes some other thing and where it was mapped. So you eliminate these things because access is 46 you are not permitting 6 star 6. Access is 64 only you are going to permit 6 star 6 star 6. See 6 4, 6 third of the 4th order. Okay, that is 4 and 6. This is applicable in part 4. This is applicable in 6. So remove distribution is out. What they are doing here is they permit 6 star 6 star 6. So they deny or permit just check. Distribution list out is specified out here. So, what the distribution list is config that there might be the statement in that. So, if you give the DNA statement, it won't advertise to R4. Okay, so this will be the right answer. You but meantime, you can check it all the things Ethernet 0 slash 1 in R4 body. You eliminate this all things because this issue is R61. So, directly you can check it R6. All are been only R6, so you can still check R6. Parsing there is no distributed configured, then go to R4. Okay. 
R4 rings invert R6 rings outwards. That's it. Okay. Okay. And that's are the same thing. Please please check this video again and again and practice it. We are going to get this uh, simulation exam. Make sure that you are answer all the five questions. Once you give the next command, then you won't uh, have chance to come back again to answer the same question.